In this video, I will show you guys how to create these looping light trail animations completely from scratch in Blender. I recently dropped a tool visuals pack with over 200 looping tool visuals in 4K resolution as well as 30 Blender files that also contains many different variations of these light trail animations. And the best thing is, it's completely free. There's nothing to sell here. All you have to do is go to the description, click on the first link, drop me a sub on YouTube, and then you'll get a Google Drive link to the full pack. So if you're interested, go check that out. And with that being said, open up Blender, delete the light and delete the default cube, select the camera, press Press Alt G to reset the location, press Alt R to reset the rotation, press GZ to move the camera up a little bit, press Shift A, add a plane, then right click, convert it to a curve, hit Shift A, add a cube, scale it down, then open the Object Constraints tab on the cube, choose Follow Path, select the curve, hit Animate Path, select the curve, open the options for the path animation and change the frames to the desired length, let's say 30. And then to make it loop, make sure that the frames of the path animation are the same as the frames of your scene, so I will change the scene frames to 30 and now we have a perfect loop. Next Next, open up a shader editor, change it from object to world, turn off the background, change it back to object, then select the cube, click plus, delete the principal BSDF, hit shift A, search for emission, connect it, and now the cube emits some light. Nice. Now go to the render properties, enable motion blur, turn up the steps and turn up the shutter depending on how long you want the trail to be. Also you can enable bloom, however I'd recommend to turn down the radius in order to maintain the full black value at the edges of the video file, because if you don't you'll have to edit the video file afterwards in order to be able to scale it up and down without there being a noticeable edge. Edge. So if you're using Bloom, just turn down the radius so that you won't have that problem to begin with. But Vincent, you might be asking, how long exactly is the trail now? If I let the animation play in the viewport, I still do not see the trail. Well, at this point, it's just a matter of trial and error, really. Before we do the first test render, though, we have to set the output properties. So go to the output properties, change the resolution to 3840 by 2160, change the file format to FFmpeg video, change the container to MPEG4, change the output quality to perceptually lossless, click on the folder icon, select an output path and give it a name. And now you can hit render animation to see if you like the result. Trails to short, turn up the shutter. Yes, it can also go further than one. Not enough bloom, turn up the emission strength of the cube. You don't like the shape of the cube? Use a sphere instead. Don't like the shape of the square? Use a pentagon, hexagon, octagon, circle, heart, cross, human silhouette, the blender logo, anything. The possibilities with this are endless. And with that being said, thanks for watching and see you next Sunday. Bye bye.